Hello and welcome to Crypto Bible. My name is Elroy Welsh and I'll be delivering your news today. We've got a really interesting article coming up today. It's based in the UK and it's talking about the police have returned millions of pounds to victims who have been scammed by cryptocurrency fraud. So it's really interesting. Let's take a look at this. But just before we do, make sure you give me a like. Yeah, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so that you don't miss any other episodes. Right, I'm going to get into the story. I'm going to pop it up onto the screen. So the title reads, Manchester police returning millions to cryptocurrency scam victims after seizing tokens from suspects. The case marks a rare achievement for law enforcement in returning cryptocurrency funds to victims who have been duped by an international scam. More than £4 million has been returned to the victims of a global cryptocurrency scam after specialist officers in Manchester acted on intelligence to track down two suspects and police say £7 million is yet to be claimed. Now, just going there already, we're seeing that this is like a huge thing because a lot of people are getting into cryptocurrencies, are putting their money into them and they're getting scammed, they're getting rug pulled. People are just removing the liquidity just like that. And police have actually returned four million pounds. So that's amazing. And they're still saying there's another seven million that they're looking to return. It's crazy. So let's let's go back into the story. Um, I'm going to pop it back up onto the screen. It says here, a 23 year old man and a 25 year old woman have been arrested for fraud and money laundering offences after Greater Manchester Police received intelligence that those running the scheme had been in the city for a limited time. In all, 150 victims have come forward to request the return of their assets, 23 of whom have been verified and had their money returned. The other 127 are still being investigated by the force and partners from around the world, and more victims have been encouraged to come forward. They say it's a growing problem. And obviously we, we know this, getting into the cryptocurrency industry, we know there's a lot of scams out there. There's a lot of things going on like this. So this is really positive to see that the police is actually working to try and return some of this money to people who have invested in these projects that have gone bad. In the Manchester raid last year, just over 16 million pounds in total was collected by officers after the suspects were arrested and investigators discovered an encrypted USB stick that contained roughly £7 million. A further £9.3 million was recovered just a few days later after police located a cryptograph safety deposit box, effectively an online safe, and the code to access it, the force said. The money was stolen from victims in the UK, the US, Europe, China, Australia and Hong Kong who had deposited cryptocurrency funds into what was marked as an online savings and trading service using Binance Smart Chain, a blockchain network. Again, just from there we can see like these are people from all over the world so obviously these people have been caught in Manchester because you know the police have got the intelligence that these guys are in Manchester for a little while and imagine these people are like 23 and 25 they've stolen millions of pounds frauded a lot of people a lot of smart people have put their money into this and they've been frauded and they're saying from where Hong Kong from China from the US from the UK like it's <laughs> it's mental when you actually think about it they've gone and and tricked a lot of people and potentially would have got away with making a lot of money. That's why, guys, you always have to do your research before you jump into any of these projects. Let's get back to the article. So it said, once the scammers had collected enough money, they shut down the service and transferred the token to their own accounts. That's a classic rug pull. That's literally just like, okay, we've, we, we, it, the time's gone now. We're, we're about to go off, you know? Boom, hit the button, take all that money, take the liquidity and just disappear. And it says here, the two suspects have been since released under investigation. Detective Chief Inspector Joe Harrop 
from the GMP's economic and cybercrime unit said, all lives are now online or on our phones and currencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum are often seen as the future when it comes to money and trading. However, this type of crime is increasing across the globe and criminals are getting savvier by finding ways to exploit the trend in ways even the most experienced user can't anticipate. Mr. Harrop continued, anyone involved in these cryptocurrency and trading services are urged to take extreme caution and do a lot of research as there are still huge risks. And we know this, we know this all the time. You know, that's the first thing that anyone ever says. You know, you look into invest into anything the first rule they always say is make sure you don't invest what you can't afford to lose so you only put in what you think if i lost this if this is a scam you always treat it as every investment this could be a scam so i'm going to put in what i can afford to lose and not cry over if i lost it at night right and then the next thing they always say is do your own research and if people don't say this for a joke it's serious because many people put money into this you can see like already millions have been returned. That's because people put millions of pounds into this. And some of them probably didn't do research. They didn't thoroughly research it or else they wouldn't have got into this position where someone's scamming them and taking the money and just completely getting off of it. All right, back to the article. Online currency and trading is incredibly technical and need in-depth knowledge in order to make sure your money is safe. If it seems too good to be true, it probably is. He urged other potential victims of the scam to come forward. Thankfully, we've returned over four million pounds to 23 individual victims, and we're continuing to work through a large number of other reported claims where we can hopefully return even more money, he said. We believe that there might, may still be victims out there from all over the world who are owed some of this money. We rumbled half a year ago. Anyone who thinks they might have been affected by this particular scam is asked to email and they've put the email down below. And just saying that anyone who's affected by this scam should just get in touch with them. I mean, if you know someone who's been affected by this type of scam or if, you know, if you've even been affected by this scam yourself, make sure you get in contact. Obviously, the details are on this article. We always pop the links down in the description as well. Uh, but I want to I wanna hear some of your comments. You know, like, first of all, have any of you guys ever been involved in a rug pull? Uh, and I'm not saying involved as in you've done one, you know, but have any of you guys ever put your money into something and then it's just been taken, it's just disappeared? Do you know anyone who's been involved in rug pulls that, you know, their money has just disappeared? And do you know anyone who's actually had their money returned? Like, we'd love to hear from you. Drop a little comment inside, inside the comment session and let us know. And if you like this video, again, it really does help us on this channel. We're trying to grow the channel. We're trying to get more subscribers. We're trying to get more cryptocurrency news out there to people. So if you like the channel, give it a like, yeah? Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell. But thank you very much for watching the story today. I've been Elroy Welsh and we'll continue to bring you more crypto news. Just stay tuned. Check out the other videos on the channel. There's a lot of helpful information. But apart from that, thank you very thank you very much, guys, for sticking around. And I hope you have a great day. Keep watching Crypto Bible and make sure you just stay safe. Don't invest in anything that you don't know about. Do proper research before you invest in this. This is your money. This is your hard-earned money. You're working for it and you want to put it into something, make sure you research this so you don't get caught out and then, you know, make sound investments. Thank you very much, guys. I've been Elroy Welsh and I'll see you on the next one.